Hello, and welcome to the Creative Cow Show. Today, we explore the educational program of Pixitope with Karina Shu. Pixitope is a software company developing next generation visual storytelling tools, and it is headquartered in Oslo, Norway. Hello, Karina. How are you? Hi, Bree. Thank you so much. I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Now, Karina, would you like to introduce Pixitope to the Creative Cow audience? Um, so I want to make this really brief, like our company in a nutshell is um, an end to end platform for virtual production, which means that we prov provide the graphics and camera tracking for real time visual effects. So in case people have not heard about us, uh, which is possible, <laughs> uh, they will most certainly have seen some of the work that our customers uh, have been doing using our software, which is, for example, the Super Bowl. Um, Eurovision, uh, French elections, Euro 22, uh, 2020, re dif different regional weather channels and the big uh, esports tournament Dota 2 happening last year in Romania. So all of them are examples for using our software in order to do real time visual effects while, um, you know, like broadcasting the shows. So, so that's what we do. And can you talk a little bit about the challenges in the media industry that the Pixitope educational program is trying to address? We at Pixitope, we believe that um, virtual production will become the mainstay technology in the industry. So eventually, media like virtual production will be media production, and it will become the standard for creative storytelling. So the biggest challenge there is um, to 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 make virtual production accessible and affordable for everyone. So all creators can use virtual production in their everyday work life. Um, this can be Hollywood blockbuster producers, of course, but also like independent YouTube uh, channel content creators, uh, like, uh, universe, like students at universities and so on. So we really want to make virtual production accessible for everyone. And um, we have, uh, you know, like talked to our customers and our partners in the industry, and we have received quite some feedback um, saying that there are three main barriers uh, in order like to, to the wide adoption of virtual production, which is uh, first the cost and complexity of the tools that are currently out there. Um, second, camera tracking, which is usually very complicated. Um, and you can really see it if this is not done correctly. And third, uh, the severe talent shortage there is in the industry right now. So uh, this is where I come in as uh, Pixotope's education program manager. And uh, we are trying to tackle each of these barriers um, with our great vision in mind, basically, to, to make virtual production accessible for everyone. So the PEP, which stands for Pixitope Education Program, what are its key components? What is this program designed for? Yeah, um, I would love to talk more about that because this is <laughs> really my main responsibility. Um, so when I joined Pixitope, um, this role was completely newly created um, in order to, to address the talent shortage we feel there is right now. So uh, what the PEP is, is it is a very special offer for universities or other educational establishments. We don't want just to limit it to universities because we feel there are more institutions out there that are for higher education or maybe also for, um, you know, like further educate yourself when you're already in the in the job market and so on. So it's really for institutions who want to um, get access to the tools, to the virtual production tools, and usually have a hard time getting the access, especially universities. They are relying on funds and on grants and so on. So um, our offer makes it um, possible for them to, to use our software. Um, that is one, one keystone, like giving them access to the tools. The other one is um, to connect these institutions to the industry because this is where the jobs are. This is what where the workforce and the skills are needed. And who knows more and better what the skills are than, than the employers and the companies who are actually working in this field. So we felt that it is really, really um, uh, important to, to connect those two sectors and, um, you know, like to nurture a dialogue. And this is what I'm 
therefore kind of like I am an interface between the education and the industry part. And um, I'm I'm working on involving industry partners in, in the PEP so we can actually create more benefit for the universities joining the program um, because we can connect them to the industry. We can create possible, um, you know, like work opportunities for the students. Um, the expertise we are providing for them, like feedback for designing the curriculum and so on. So this is like the, the main the main reason why we are doing this education program. And um, addition, in additionally, we want to create a community also, like really develop an area where everyone can exchange ideas and talk to each other because we feel there is a, you know, like a lack of inspiration in the industry and everyone is really worried about where, where the industry is going and what the jobs will look like. And we are really missing creativity. So we, we want to address that by giving them the tools and spark this, um, yeah, this creativity. So what challenges are universities facing that PEP can help with right now? Yeah, I think one of the most important factors is uh, access to the tools. Um, I mean, there are a lot of um, product academies out there, um, free of charge also, that help, you know, like to get trained uh, in special um, products or software and so on. Um, but when it comes to pro tools and pro environments, this is a lot harder, actually. So uh, we really wanted to address that. So that is one of the biggest challenges for them. And the second one is actually to create timely curriculum. So um, when they do this, they have to make sure that the content that they are teaching is relevant for a couple of years. Um, and with an industry like the virtual production industry and the, the media production industry changing at such a rapid pace, this is nearly impossible to do. And I've just actually I've just um, read an article uh, recently uh, written by the president of Temple University in Philadelphia, who said in order to retain value of the curriculum, it is important to tweak and adapt it on a yearly basis and not like every three or more years, which is now the case. So that really shows that um, it is important to connect the industry where the change is happening with the education. And what we wanna do is we don't want to um, dictate a curriculum and tell them this is what you need to teach, but we really want to consult them. Like we want to give them advice, support, feedback if they want to, and we really want to to tailor our offer to their needs and demands rather than just, yeah, as I said, dictating uh, what we think is important. So really, we, we consider ourselves more like a um, mediator, maybe, um, between those parties involved. So the technology is changing that fast. Yeah. And you would have to work very closely with the universities to keep it going. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, this is what I've been doing since I joined the past weeks and months. I've been talking to a lot of universities worldwide. So we are not limiting this to a specific region. Um, there are a lot of U.S. universities um, who are interested in this program. Uh, Europe as well. Uh, I, Asia, of course. I have uh, received um, requests from Australia. So this is really a global initiative. And so far, the overall feedback was very positive. Um, we are just in the beginning phase, so we are really at the at the at the point where we design this program. Um, but we have just announced the launch of it, and we are currently working on onboarding the first intake of students uh, now in September. And um, yeah, as I said, this is a start, but we really envision this to be even bigger. And um, we also feel that the word of mouth is really important. So. I am being contacted by people people who have heard about us or about our initiative from others. And I think this really shows that that we are on the right track here. So what is unique about PEP? How is Pixitope being kind of disruptive with this latest concept? This really ties back to what I what I said in the beginning, that it is our main mission at Pixitope to to make virtual production accessible for everyone. And in this case, that means that we really want to um, 
tailor our offer to to the respective needs and demands there are. So we what makes us different from other product academies, for example, is that we are in a dialogue with uh, the educational establishments, giving them feedback on what they want to teach, um, being there for support, for feedback and so on. So we are really working hard on, on being disruptive by, um, you know, like adapting to what the people want from us kind of and uh, we really try hard to to create a solution for them that is as easy and as simple to use as possible so our whole software was basically built with with a user in mind it is very user friendly and this is also something that's very important to to overcome the complexity of the tools that are currently out there um so yeah we we really want to break down all the barriers when it comes to to using virtual production and and this is what we do and what makes us different in our approach like we want to we want to invest in the future and into the community in the community rather than just dictating that's that's what we really um aim for and speaking of the future uh how do you see virtual production evolving in the future yeah, that's actually a very, very good question because, I mean, no one really knows, right? <laughs> so, um, but what we see is that it is changing right now. Um, as I said in the beginning, we believe that virtual production will eventually become just media production. Um, virtual production has uh, experienced a massive surge in the last couple of years due to several reasons. One of them being the pandemic, of course, the need for more um, possibilities to work remotely and to uh, lower costs and so on. Um, so we see now that the jobs are changing, like traditional roles in the uh, pro broadcast industry are um, disappearing, new roles emerge or roles are shifting. And um, when it comes to, to jobs in the industry, I think there it, it basically affects everyone. Like there can be possibilities or there are possibilities with creative studios, for example, for with broadcasters, with production companies um, or streaming providers and so on. So really the whole area is affected by this, which makes it even more important um, for us and like shows us that the PEP is needed because with, with our program, we really want to bring all the different departments at the universities or institutions together, like gaming or IT or film, animation, journalism, um, we see that sometimes there is the, um, you know, like there is, they, they are working very separately from each other. And in order to, to make a change and actively shape the future of virtual production, it is important to work together and to collaborate. And we try to do that by bringing them all together on one table and, and talk about that and see where and how we can define the new roles that uh, roles that are, are um, going to be there. And I mean, as a student, you are always worrying about the future, right? You, you worry about the job. Uh, is this what I'm learning right now really re relevant later on? And will I find um, something? And so, yeah, in order to to address that, it is really important to connect everyone together. Uh, and yeah, we want to create a link. And yeah, hopefully, I mean, this is what we believe will will we will eventually achieve is to to create a future of virtual production together. Well, we are very excited to see what the future holds in the Pixitope Education Program. And it was very nice to meet you, Karina. Thank you for coming on the Creative Cow Show. Thank you. Likewise. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. <laughs>